first of all thanks for being part of this video in this video we are going to learn about the concept of time and work part 1 class 1 actually we are going to learn about phd phd is nothing but a degree but here we using phd as work p means persons h means hours d means days and work we actually use the formula of p1 h1 d1 equals to w1 p2 h2 d2 equals to w2 this is the what formula we use in this concept let's start with question number one 16 men can do a piece of work in 10 days a work piece of work so this is one how many men are needed to complete the same work in 40 days same work so equals to 1 in 40 days how many men are needed this is the question okay we use the same concept of this one here okay so what we get is 4 times 4 4 times so x value is 4 4 men are required to complete the work in 40 days so our answer is 4 men okay let's see second question 40 men working 8 hours can cut 60 trees if 8 men leaves the job then how many men how many trees will be cut in 12 hours let's start using the same formula phd formula 40 persons working 8 hours can cut 80 trees this is work this is 60 whole divided by 8 months left 8 months left means initially there are 40 men now there are 32 men only 32 into working for 12 hours how many trees will be cut this is the question what asked let's see mm. 22 times 23 times 16 2 times so we left with all 2 times 24 24 uh, 3 times 72 so x value will be 72 trees this is the answer now let's see third question 8 men can do a piece of work in 5 days so 8 men can do a piece of work in 5 days in how many how many men are needed to complete the work in 10 days so here the work must be the same so we'll write like this persons into days equals to p1 d1 equals to p2 d2 like this so persons 8 persons working 5 days how many men are needed to complete the work in 10 days so by 2 times to 4 times so answer will be 4 4 men are needed to complete the work in 10 days okay let's see fourth question 10 men can prepare 20 toys in 3 days working 12 hours so according to phd formula 10 persons 3 days 12 hours can make 20 toys then in how many days can 24 men 24 men can prepare 32 toys this is work working 4 hours a day the question asked is 4 hours how many days so days is here we need to find the solution for this one 10 2 times and 4 8 times 8 3 times 3 and 3 cancels here so left with 2 6 times so answer d is 6 days option d is our answer next we are going to see the most difficult question in this concept the work done by a woman in 8 hours is equal to work done by a man in 6 hours and by a boy in 12 hours the first these three lines what actually means is a woman working 
8 hours is equals to work done by a man in 6 hours man in 6 hours equals to a boy in 12 hours boy in 12 hours so the three lines means this one next if working 6 hours per day 9 men can complete your work in 6 days so we have hours persons and days so first we wrote them 9 into 6 into 6 this is PhD ok PhD we got uh, and what the question asked here is then in how many days can 12 men and 12 women together 12 women 12 men and 12 boys together finish the same work working 8 hours per day so talking about 12 men plus 12 women plus 12 boys together working for 8 hours in how many days this is persons hours days phd so we need to find d value this is the work this is also the total work these are also doing the same work so first these all are men's nine men's first we need to convert all men women and boys into a single variable we can convert uh, them into men's here we have men's so we converting these into men's eight women is equals to six men so what will be four women four women will be three men yes or no let's uh, cut them with uh, two two four times four four women four women is equals to three men okay we have a relation of four women is equal to three women so in this case 12 women means into three into three so we get a nine men 12 men plus nine men 12 boys 12 boys is nothing but six men so this is six men totally we have nine 12 21 26 means 27 men 27 men can do in eight hours in how many days we can complete the whole work before we have this one so we have nine men in three times three two times so we got a d value is 12 by 8 4 3 times 4 2 times we get 1 1 by 2 days is our answer option a is our answer uh, we are going to learn these type of questions more in upcoming classes don't worry if you don't understand this one uh, at present okay try to understand once again if you can't understand please repeat this once again now we are going to learn one more concept about if a person can do a work in x days and another person can do a piece of work in y days both can both a and b can complete the whole work in x into y by x plus y days this is the formula we need to learn for the next questions let's see question a can do a piece of work in five days so a work in five days and b can do in six days how long will they take if both work together what asked is a and b together can complete the whole work in how many days so what we have a formula is x and y then x y by x plus y so five into six divided by 5 plus 6 will be 11 so answer will be 30 by 11 means 2 8 by 11 days is our answer now we are going to see one more question 
A can do a piece of work in 20 days and B can do it in 30 days. How long will they took to do it working together? So A into B by A plus B. So we have 5, 4 times, 4, 3 times, 12 days. So both together takes 12 days. Okay. Now we are going to see one more topic called if we have a person A can do a piece of work in X days and another person B we don't know how many days he can complete the work but we know A and B together can complete the whole work in Y days. Okay. In this case to find B what the formula is x into y by before concept we will take x plus y but in this case we take x minus y this so this is the formula for the next topic let's see the question if a can do a piece of work in 20 days and a and b together can do it in 12 days a and b in 12 days then B alone can do it in how many days? So we need to find the B value. B in how many days? So what the formula we have is 20 into 12 divided by difference between these two 8. So answer will be 4 2 times 4 3 times 2 10 times 30 is the answer for B. So B can complete the whole work alone in 30 days. Let's see one more question. A can do a P one third of work in five days. So A can complete one third of work in five days. What actually means is one part of work he can complete in five days. Then there are three parts. One part of value in five days. Then total is nothing but three parts. So three parts will be 3 5 times 15 days so a can complete the whole work in 15 days next b 2 fifth of work in 10 days what actually means is 2 parts of work in 10 days so 2 5 times so total 5 parts of value will be 5 5 times 25 days so b can take in 25 days in how many days A and B together can do the work? So formula will be A plus B equals to we have A and B 15 into 25 by sum of these two which will be 40. 5, 3 times 5, 8 times. So 75 by 8, 8, 9 times 72, 3 by 8. So answer will be 9, 3 by 8 days. Option B is our answer. And actually, I am going to use LCM method. Sometimes I use this formula method and sometimes I use LCM method. Let's see what is LCM method. Here, A can do in 5 days. B can do in 6 days. LCM of these two will be 30 days. Their efficiencies are 5, 6 times. Efficiency is 6. Here his efficiency is 5. Uh, they are talking about how many, how long will they take it to complete the work together. So their efficiencies are 5 and 6, 6 and 5. Total efficiency is 11. Uh, he need to complete 30. 30 by 11 is the answer. 2, 8 by 11. Let's see in this question. A can complete in 20 days b can complete in 30 days their lcm is 60 efficiencies are 3 and 2 so working together means this efficiency and this efficiency total 5 5 units there are total 60 units both together need to complete 60 units 5 12 times i use mostly this type of concept for the further questions upcoming questions so i am going to set this concept also so i am teaching this concept also let's see for this one 
uh, here a can complete the work in 20 days a and b together can complete the work in 12 days but we don't know how many days can b can complete let's take lcm for the 20 and 12 the lcm must be 60 the efficiencies are 12 5 times will be 60 23 times will be 60 here we don't know about b sum of these two becomes this unit here we have 3 so it must be 2 x into 2 equals to 60 means this will be 30 so answer will be 30 okay let's learn in this concept first we calculated this days and for b we got 25 days lcm method a and b we have 15 days and 25 days lcm of these two will be uh, 75 5 25 3 times and 5 15 5 times we get 75 so talking about working together their efficiencies are 5 and 3 5 plus 3 is 8 total we need to complete 75 units so 75 by 8 is our answer 9 3 by 8 is our answer so we are using these two concepts mostly in this time and work concept either direct formula method or we use this lcm method so that's all for today uh, if you are new to my channel please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching please do watch the upcoming classes also to get a clear concept about the time and work concept thanks for watching